Have you noticed how much students love telling stories? How many times have you had a student interrupt a lesson with a story they just had to tell? Over the years, I've lost count. So why not give students the chance to express their creativity by making their very own storybook all in Canva? Hi, I'm Lena and I'm a design educator here at Canva. I have more than 10 years of classroom experience and creating stories was always one of my favorite ways to get creative in the classroom. I think we can all agree storytelling is a powerful piece of the literacy process for students and teachers. And with Canva's reimagined creative and collaboration process, it has never been easier to put your students in the driver's seat of their learning. To write a good story, there are four steps we need to consider planning, writing, creating, and publishing our story. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how this whole journey can be done in Canva to make it easier and faster for students to get stories out of their head and onto the page. For part one and part two of the storybook process, I've created a template to save you having to search for everything I'm going to talk about. You can scan the QR code here to download your own copy. And now you can sit back, relax, and take it all in. We all know a good story can't happen without planning. So first up, I want my students to brainstorm possible ideas. Here, I've got some sticky notes ready for students to add in all of their story ideas. They can simply click on a sticky note and type like this. I really want my students to feel inspired in this brainstorm and Canva makes that easy with a huge selection of fun characters they can use for their story. Students can search Canva's Element Library for some character inspiration. Here are a few of my favorite storybook characters. Now that students have had the chance to ideate, it's time to choose the characters that inspire them most. They can select their character by using the Draw app to circle it. or they can mark their favorite using a graphic from within the Elements tab. Once they have completed this, they are ready to dive into the second step of the process, writing the story. An easy way to guide your students through the writing process is by using a graphic organizer like this one. It clearly states what's needed, so they know how to shape the arc of their story. After they've filled out this page, they can move onto the storyboard. This gets students to think deeper about their story and allows them to map out each scene with text and graphics. You can see the example I have here is quite simple. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy, as it's now up to the students to express their creativity. This design now includes everything my students will need to complete the first two steps of the story process. Next, I can share the assignment with students or via an LMS with a click of a button. We have integrations with some of the most popular LMSs from Schoology to Canvas and Google Classroom. You can explore them all here. All right, we're getting to the best part, and I'm sure the part they'll enjoy the most, creating the storybook. Canva has plenty of wonderful storybook templates that make the creation process a little less daunting. Just search for storybooks in the templates bar, and you can explore everything Canva has to offer. I think this one is my favorite. What I love about these templates is that they come with resources at the back, making it even easier for students to start creating. There are even layouts already built in for students and teachers. Once the students have written out their story, they can easily copy and paste the text into the book like this. If they wanna to go to the extra mile, they can even customize the elements. In the case that a student might have a question, they can tag you to get real-time feedback like this. Our final and maybe the most exciting step of the storybook process is publishing. Download and save it as a PDF so you can print it locally. Simply click on the share tab, 
download, and then PDF print. How easy was that? As you can see, creating a storybook in Canva is fun, engaging, and a great way to create memorable stories. But wait, we're not quite at the end yet. Before you leave, we have a playbook for teachers that has everything from classroom decor kits, mind maps, class schedules, and just about anything else you might need. Explore the playbook by scanning the QR code here. Check out our back to school website for more tips on how you can camp at your classroom this school year. That wraps up our video for today. We love seeing all your creative designs that you make. So make sure to tag us on social media at Canva or use the hashtags CanvaEDU and CanvaLove so we can share in the joy of your storybook creations. See you next time.